Hello YouTube, it's DBT Game Show, Pokemon Blue Let's Play, Part 30. Well YouTube, me and Adam have been on the internet for the past half an hour, and we have researched the Cubone Theory to pretty much exhaustion point. So, Adam, now, you have actually found something that you will not tell me that makes this theory completely bullshit. Go on, Yes, I have tell the world! We've been onto YouTube and various other sites and have and had a look at this uh, this connection theory between uh, Kangaskhan and the Cubone. Oh yeah, um, I skipped a battle at the end of the um, last video because I needed to save my game so we could check on this theory. Yeah, the, ca Adam. the camera battery was running low. We really want needed to needed to save the game and recharge the uh, the camera while we did a bit of research. So that battle that we were on. We skipped it, won it. If you don't know how to win a battle by now, you really shouldn't be watching this. Um, anyway, like I said, we've been, been looking through a few uh, websites and... Uh, YouTube videos and um, other internet gumf. And uh, we've, we've, we've uh, gone through the, the various legends about all, all this... All this uh, mi uh, missing number bullshit. And by the way, he made a mistake. Um... Taurus isn't an evolution of Missing No, it can evolve f into a Kangaskhan, Ditto, or what was the other one? Rhydon. Um, in my defence, Rhydon lives in the Safari Zone, and uh, its baby form also lives in the Safari Zone, so Taurus lives in the Safari Zone, that's probably why I got them mixed up. Mm, fair enough, fair enough. And also Rhydon does kind of look like a Kangaskhan. There is a sort of um, connection. No, we're not going to start a new theory off here. Definitely no. not. No, for no. God's sake, no. No, we've had, we've had enough of this one. I'd just like to destroy his theory completely. Okay, go up. Well, you 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 gonna try? But the the only thing that stands out in this theory that 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 makes me think it could be possibly be true is that missing no evolves into Kangaskhan. That's the only thing that I think is plausible about this theory. Theory. He's trying to back himself up now. Right, go. As you may know, well, as we talked about in the last couple of uh, episodes, the theory is that Missing Note is a program which links the evolution from Marowak to Kangaskhan. Yes. The, the theory being that since um, Cubones, when their mothers die, they wear their mother's skull as a, as, ca as a kind as of armour. And they use their mother's bones as weapons. When the Cubone evolves into Marowak, the bu the skull fuses with the skull of the Cubone, and they become a Marowak. And the an event and the theory is that ooh, new move for Pikachu Swift. Very good move here, you two. This move will never miss. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this for Quick Attack because it's more powerful. Fair enough. The, th the theory is that Missing Noise is a glitched program. Where, whereby a Marowak evolves, a female Marowak evolves into a Kangaskhan to reproduce. Similar to the um, idea that um, in the Nidoran family that Nidoran evolves into Nido Queen eventually, and Nidoran male evolves into Nido King. Like what you said, yeah. What I what I have what I have noticed whilst in that half hour of uh, uh, study and research. He's noticed something. Shut up. I do have eyes. Okay, I'm sorry. They do work, more or less. Although my family hasn't really got good history with eyeballs. We'll, I'll get into that another time. But anyway. If uh, a Kangaskhan is indeed the, uh, the mother of a Cubone, that means that a Cubone is wearing a Kangaskhan skull. Yes. Right? Okay. What can you tell me about the skull that a, that a Cubone wears? It's white. More or less the same shape as its head, obviously. Uh, sleek. Think of, think of a Tyrannosaurus Rex kind of thing, with two horns on the top and huge holes for the eyes. And it doesn't wear the jaw apart because it wouldn't fit. And it doesn't have a lower jaw. Fair enough. But that's not what I was talking about. You look at the Mar Marowak. It's more or less the same skull, but it's fused... With the with the head of a mar of a of a cubone to create a marowak, so it's more sleek. But the the basic design is still there. The elongate the elongated shape, the eye holes, the horns, it's the missing. It's got a Dirty Attenborough sort of program now. 
But anyway, the, the, the missing lower jaw. Now take, now, take that into account and take a good look at uh, a Kangaskhan and what can you tell me? It has no skull on its head. Well, well, no, because the skull... If the theory is true, the skull will have fused with the skull of uh, the, the Marowak and you wouldn't be able to see the, 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 other, the separate skull on... A, Good point. a Kangaskhan. Okay. So, how does this, um, how does a Kangaskhan make my theory, make this theory false then? A Kangaskhan doesn't have horns. The what the hell? Why is there that skull have horns then? Ah, a Kangaskhan's I head. I can explain this. What it has bones in its ears. A the Kangaskhan's skull I I is smooth. A Q-bones. Armor skull that it wears, that's supposed to be from its mother, has horns. Well, according to the um, when I looked at the picture on the internet, the um, to me, the um, horn bits were triangle shaped from the off to the right. They that's its ears. No, look at Cubone Sprite. Uh, they, 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 to Cubone me, they... Sprite has horns on top of its head. About let me look at that. Oh, he's he's off on one now. A Cubone sprite has horns on the top of its head. Shit! A, Ma a Marowak sprite has horns on the top of its head. Shit. A Kangaskhan doesn't have horns! Shit! Damn! So, biologically, whatever skull that thing is wearing on its head, it cannot be from its mother. Or, it, or even if it is, it cannot be a Kangaskhan, at least. That was clever, Adam. I do believe you've sort of got me there. Shit! Surely they wouldn't have altered the sprite of a Kangaskhan just to incorporate that one little fucking... Oh, oh, just to spark up all this shit. Uh, there is one thing, though. Go on. Cubone has ears. And? Maybe the ears are poking through those little horny bits. Or why are they covered in bone? Because he's put the skull on his head, you dimwad. So when you... When you, when you, when you put a... Uh, and steel helmet over your head, it doesn't create ears! No, but let's say the Pokemon's ears, right? Let's say they pulls the skull down, the ears move, because it, it's crushing his head to make it smaller, so it's the shape of the skull. The ears would move upwards, wouldn't they? Into those slots. Okay, so... Slots the... created by horns! What? Uh, maybe thought... they weren't horns originally, maybe they were just ear holes. I don't know. But I have to say, what you've said there is pretty damn clever. Okay, fair enough. Maybe, maybe um, a Kangaskhan is the mother of a Cubone, but that doesn't alter the fact that the skull that Cubone is wearing has horns, and a Kangaskhan doesn't. So, he, so if a Q, so if a Kangaskhan is the mother of a Cubone, whatever skull it's wearing cannot be from its mother. And if the legend is that we have proven the fact that it wears, wears the skull of its mother. It cannot be a Kangaskhan. Or, possibly... A Kangaskhan has bones in its ears. <laughs> yeah, or possibly a Kangaskhan has bones in its ears. I mean, humans have bones in their ears. They're called the anvil, the hammer, and the... And, and what's the other one? I don't know the bones of the ear, but I know for a fact they don't point out like that. Yeah, well, we're not Q-bones, are we? And neither is a Kangaskhan. Yeah. Um, just to um, say something here, YouTube... It's been fun talking about this. It's been fun talking about this theory, but now I feel like a. But now Adam said this, I do. I do sort of. Um, I appreciate the theory. I do. I honestly do think that. It's a good idea. Mis mysteries are fun. They are fantastic fun. But when you look at them closely and realise that it's all bullshit, it does take the fun out of it. So really, guys, whoever the hell made this made this theory up. Try to think of everything. At least try to think of something which may have some kind of relevance. There because is relevance to this though. What about Kangaskhan being evolved from Missing No in the um, in the um, thing that we watched? And what about the other two that Missing No evolves into? I think the other two has got something to do with the game's error handling system. Yes, it has. It's the game trying to come up with something that isn't there. Never was there and never will be there. 
it's a glitch. But the fact that it evolves into Kangaskhan is a little bit, um... What about the mysterious. fact that it evolves into Ditto? What about the fact that it evolves into Rhydon? It Rhydon's must have sex with everybody. Dit Ditto has sex, has sex with everything. It's the only thing that can breed with everything. <laughs> and That's Rhydon what... is a completely different Pokemon altogether with its own, li with its own little, um... Evolution roster. Yeah. So if anything, the, th the legend should be that it, it, it go... Whatever the hell Rhydon evolves from, Rhydon, Rhydon and then Kangaskhan. Because literally, they're, they're only two Pokemon away from each other. And from what I understand, they're more or less the same type. They look pretty much the same. Actually, there's, there's one slight flaw, Adam. And the dit and the evolution theory would hold weight, because Dittos have... Well, they, sex, they fuck everything that moves. So <laughs> there must be some Ditto uh, DNA in this lot somewhere. There's one slight flaw with your um, theory, and it involves Pokemon Platinum. Go on. Rhydon evolves into Rhyperia. So I screwed that one up then. There is, there is, no, there is no legend. It's a glitch that the game has created because it's trying to find information out of a series of unfortunate events that lead it to, to start looking for nothing. Hmm. And, and people who have seen this theory and saw it evolve into Kangaskhan saw a Kangaskhan sprite and put a, a, a skull on it mm. which made it look like a Q-bone. Exactly. It's exactly the same thing that happened with Dan Brown's novel uh, Da Vinci Code and uh, Angels and Demons. Okay, they're good. Explain. Go watch the movies, read the books. You have two minutes. Explain. Short <laughs> version, please. At the easy version with the big pictures. Dan Brown's novel argue, argues that Jesus Christ was a human and had a child with Mary Magdalene, who was allegedly a prostitute. Wasn't Mary and Magdalene that, his mother, though? No, Mary Magdalene was a prostitute that he supposedly uh, s saved, and she became supposedly one of the disciples, the only female disciple. And th the bloodline of Jesus Christ runs today in a fam in a family known as... Um, the Madelines. No. Oh, bloody hell. W watch the movies, mate. I think I've got it if you want to borrow it. It's long, boring, tedious. It's in... It's in sorry, I won't say boring. It's interesting and thought-provoking, but it... Just like the um, Q-Bone thing. Just like the Q-Bone thing. It's controversial. It's it's interesting. It's fun to think about. The fact... It's open to debate. Exactly. The, f the, fact, the fact that uh, Jesus Christ, the Messiah of... Uh, the, Chris the, the Christian religion was just normal guy with, who just went around saying, "Dude, just be nice to each other for once." He had a, and he had a child whose bloodline still still lives to this day. Okay, so possibly lives to this day because no one's ever actually proven that Jesus existed or not. Exactly, it's a it's a fun little story. Although I am a Christian, so I do have some belief in heaven. I'm a relaxed empiricist. I'll get onto that another time. <laughs> like I say, it's a good little story. It's something to think about. It's thought provoking, but when it comes down to it, there's really no substance to it. Just like the the, the legend surrounding missing no. Okay, it's fun to think that maybe it's some kind of a missing program that links the evolution of two completely different, unrelated three. Pokemon. Three, three Pokemon, three, three, three unrelated Pokemon. I do, I do think that Pete, that since. Marowak, uh, don't worry about the time. Marowak and Cube, Marowak and uh, Cubone. They're from what from what I understand, all their stories about them. They're sad. They're they're depressing. You make you you feel you feel sorry for the, for the things. So pretending pretending on some level that they have, I don't know, a mother out there somewhere that that they have they have something else to hang hang on to. It's just human nature mm. to fa to find connections. And the, and the fact that. Um... Kangaskhan's, according to legend, always always die young. So yeah, exactly. Support this. Exactly. It also it all it supports also, it. It also supports the fact that, that Cubone is known as the lonely Pokemon. Yeah, because its mother's died and it's having to wear its mother's skull and use its bones for as for weapons. Well, like I say, it's a story. It's fun to think about, but when you really analyse it, like we just did, it doesn't really have any substance, and we run out of time. So anyway, YouTube. In the next part, we explore the other town. We finally made it out of this damn cave. <laughs> so yeah, think about it, have fun with it, but don't, don't take think it too seriously. Don't take it too seriously. Don't think about it too much. Take care, guys.